Hi. Well, welcome to our Midwestern State University uh, pre presentation. And and um, we're going to be talking about Midwestern State University. <sighs> On to the slide. Um, here's the Midwestern State Bridge. Uh, wait. Uh, I, I I don't think this is right, guys. Oh, wait. Let me just. Hello, my name is Giovanni Rodriguez. Today we're going to be talking about Midwestern State University. The college was established in 1922. The purpose for establishment was providing students with rigorous undergraduate and graduate educations in liberal arts and professions. The college's motto is through knowledge to excellence. The college's mascot and colors are maroon and gold and the mascot is Mustangs. It is located in Wichita Falls, Texas. It is approximately 5 hours and 57 minutes from St. Jack. Popular sites on and off campus are Castaway Cove Park, The Family Fun Zone, and Jenny to Jet Exhibit. Clubs and organizations that students can join are academic uh, alumni, club sports, hobbies, and student governance. Hi, I'm Caden. When it comes to sports, Midwestern State University offers a wide range of options. For men, there's football, basketball, golf, soccer, and tennis. For women, there are even more options such as basketball, cross country, golf, soccer, softball, tennis, track, and volleyball. However, you don't need to be sportsy to get any benefits. This is because Midwestern offers support and services to students academically. Ranging from study skills, personal counseling, academic advice and counseling, tutoring, cultural events, academic workshops, and so much more. They offer so much that there's an entire building dedicated to student services in the West Campus. However, there are eligibility requirements needed to get them, but they aren't strict at all. All you need to be is just a student at Midwestern. With services, it makes it easy to get the degrees offered at Midwestern especially since there are good degrees offered here. They offer both bachelors and masters at this university with a huge list of options. Unfortunately, they do not offer associate degrees or any certificates. Degrees aren't the only thing though. There are plenty of majors offered at Midwestern as well. To get the most important ones, let's look at the top 10 most popular majors at Midwestern. At first place, we have health professions and related professions with 38% of graduates graduating with this. Next is business, management, marketing, and related support services. Next is multi-interdisciplinary multi interdisciplinary interdis disciplinary studies. Then it's biological and biomedical sciences. Then it's engineering. Following up is performing arts. Then it's homeland security slash law enforcement slash firefighting and related protective services. Then it's psychology. Then physical sciences. And finally, computer and information sciences and support services. This may be a lot, but deciding what you want to major in may be the easiest part since the first step is to get into the school. For Midwestern State University, it is recommended that you have a GPA of at least three, since that's an automatic admission, an SAT score of 1200, just to be safe, and an ACT score of 25, also to be safe. But if you are a smart bug, being in the top 25% of class should just let you in. Because of this, there is a 95% admissions rate. So if you ever need a backup college, this is a good choice. Once you get into school, the class you enter is going to be fairly small. Midwestern prides itself on having smaller class sizes. Classes are going to have fewer than 20 people. This puts it at about the same size as a high school class. The same can't be said about the campus. The campus is huge with a ton of fun buildings and classrooms. They have the standard classrooms like every other university, but they also have Pretty awesome labs for health and sciences, like this x-ray room, or this computer lab, and they even have little hospital rooms in their health center. What's up y'all, this is Jake and we're going to be talking about Midwestern State University. 
First, we're gonna talk about the housing. Kenilworth Hall costs $5,385 per year, but they're split up in two semesters, 60% in the fall semester and 40% in the spring semester. For the food access, the platinum plan is most recommended, which will be $2,177 per semester. The engineering and nursing requirements will be engineering, have to have a three, three on the AP test or over. For the nursing, you need to pass all your prerequisite courses with a 3.0 GPA or higher. For admissions, you do not need to submit an essay or an SAQ. And the application fees are $40 for undergraduate. For a re-enrolling undergraduate, it will be $10. And for a graduate, it will be $50. But if you're coming internationally, for evaluation, it will be a $50. To visit the campus online, you can go on their website, msutexas.edu. And you can also schedule a face-to-face -face tour on the website as well. Wait, wait, wait. Before the presentation can end, there has to be an active participation of the audience? What? I don't know who thought of this, but let's make it interesting because we're going to be having a pop quiz. The rules are simple. There's going to be three questions, each from the three sections that were presented today. And the winner gets a whole dollar funded by my wallet. Now, to participate in this, there's going to be a QR code and a link, depending on if you're on your phone or your computer. Now, I'm going to give you time to join, and it's just going to be a, a Google thingy where you just put in the answers. Um, yeah. Well, without further ado, let's start. The first question from the first section is... What is the school's motto? Here are our options. That's right, it was this one right there. Next question. What is the acceptance rate of Midwestern State University? From the second section. Here again are our options. That's right, it was that one right there. From our final section, which you should get since you just watched it. What is the annual cost of housing for the Killingworths Hall semi-private double room? Obviously, that finishes the pop quiz and hopefully the 5 points that I've gained for this project. The winner will now be receiving $1. and. If there's more than one winner, you guys have to split the dollar. That's it for the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you to Giovanni and Jacob for helping.